In this video, I'm going to be reading your comments and video ideas. Some of them are good, and some of them are, uh, let's just say, interesting. But without any further ado, uh, let's get into it. Why do I gotta be sick while recording a video? First, we have a comment from Evan Jajoey. He reads, A fun technique to do is to summon two big walls and use hold. Each hand can hold a wall, which I use for defense, and something I've only been able to do a couple of times is rapidly straightening both walls at the same time, which... Hehe, <laughs> big damage if it connects properly. All right, let's test it out. All right, so summon two walls and hold one on each hand. All right. Okay. Oh, that's a bit difficult, but yeah, we got it. Somewhat. Um, I guess it counts, right? And then straight them. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. I guess it works, though. Put this one behind here, maybe. Yeah, that makes it way easier to grab. As for defensive, I don't know how useful it is. If an attack goes through one wall, it will most likely go through two. Gives you an extra bit of uh, time, though, to think about what you're going to do or how you're going to get hit in the face. But yeah, other than that, Pretty good. Yeah, okay, that's pretty, that's actually pretty useful. Defensive, nah. Offensive, though, really good. Because it's, don't get me wrong, defensive, it's pretty good. It's just, it's more useful to just spawn a grounded wall and then punch it. Pretty good, all right, next one. Do you have a Discord? I haven't found any communities based around Rumble, and it's kind of hard to find people to play with and talk about Rumble stuff with. Actually, yeah, I do have a Discord. Uh, there's the link in the description, and it just launched today, so feel free to join in. There's also the official Rumble Discord server, where you can always find people to play with. I've of course also linked this in the description down below. Alright, next question. First of all, how do you manage to make the controls work? Mine usually does, but it's so inconsistent with the tracking. Second, good video. Aw, how did you manage to find people to play with? I haven't been able to find people at all. Third, I want to see you throw rocks. Maybe one day I'll be able to throw rocks too. Well, Noxy, let's hop into a game and I'll see if I can fix your problem. All right, so very important when you do your T-pose to keep your arms as straight as possible. Now this is very important because it's very important that your arm length is accurate. If you ever have the problem where when you do disc, it just doesn't do it or anything else, there is one simple solution to this problem. You can do the T-pose thing wherever you want. In the game, in the gym, in the park, everywhere. You just hold your arms like this again, and then you hold the same two buttons. For me, it's B and Y. I have no idea what the buttons are for Index or, or other VR headsets. So yeah, be sure to recalibrate every once in a while, especially after you took a break and put down your headset because sometimes it will mess things up a bit. For finding a match, um, going to the rumble station and pulling this lever is the first thing you should try. If it takes too long and you're never able to find a match, be sure to contact the devs. Talk to the devs, you can just find it in their Discord server. The one thing I found with straightening discs is if you do it enough times, you'll get flown off the edge. That's why I use uppercut to deflect the discs around me. Huh. All right, so here we are in the gym and First of all, I just want to practice my uppercut before we start. Alright, let's meet up with our boy Howard and see how good this tactic actually is. So, we set Howard to level 1 as usual, so if we stand clear, he's only going to throw us discs. And here we go. Alright, come on, disc me. I don't see how this is going to work though. 12 seconds later. Oh. Wait a second. That has a lot of potential. You have to do a pretty perfectly timed trick. If you're fighting against someone with a bad ping, and even if you do it right, um, you don't really, you can't really do anything with a disc anymore. So yeah, I'd say nah. The best thing in my opinion is doing ground. Because then if you hit someone, you get an extra damage point, which makes it two. Uh, again, maybe I'm just really bad at this. Um, keep in mind that there's other options and other ways to defend yourself. Oh. Nice. Alright, next comment. Hey, do you think this will ever come to Quest? <sighs> Alright, 
Let's talk about quests for a second. Per day, I get this question more times than I use the bathroom, but Rumble is a big game, and although a quest port is technically possible, according to the devs, it's very unlikely that it will happen. So technically, there is a chance that it will happen, but I don't see it ever happening. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this shorter semi Q&A, semi answer your questions video. If you have any video ideas, let me know down in the comments and don't forget to join the Discord. There is a link in the description. I also want to take this quick moment to thank you all so much for surpassing 500 subscribers. Um, the growth on the channel has been amazing and thank you guys so much. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye!